Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This one's a revisit of the Paris Thrift Shop. I did a short from it, from what I had collected last time, but this time I got some actual video. Last time I had messed up something. So these were outside on the, a visit we had. So they had some items outside. And you see the hours 10 till 5 generally. And inside you've got even more clothes. Nice vintage stuff. Pretty good selection of stuff. And then they have this display just inside from the front window. And these are also in the window. As you can see, these ones from the outside itself. So a nice selection of vintage items. Well, oil lamp of sorts. And come tour with me vicariously. That's the, uh, the splash. And then we continue. There's there's a selection of crystal glass, ceramic, and porcelain in this. It's got a showcase piece there. There's an upper and lower of it. He has some art glass as well. And this, on this visit, he did anyway. As you can see, some of the other clothing. The men's is over here for for shirts and he's got a few uh, Hawaiian shirts up there. Majority of the clothing is women's. Here's one of the Hawaiian shirts that was chosen. He can bring it down. It's, it is for sale. It's just he chose to put it up high. You get a really good view of what you're looking at when you see them up there. There are not of the larger size that I hoped for, but so here we got a, so this makes what, four different shirts up there. Then you just past the men's uh, clothing on the, on there is the counter where the proprietor looks after your payments and packs it up for you. On the opposite side, you've got the women's, and those I think were may have been men's pants, but I'm not sure at this point. So quite a bit of uh, clothing. Some of it's vintage, some of it's not. This was an interesting piece in the women's area. I think it may have been one size fits all. Yeah, those are brassieres. And then we uh, see the showcase right at the proprietor, just in a short glimpse there. Uh, we'll see that in a moment. It's got some recorded music here as well. So he's got some of the nicer jewelry and uh, collectibles. And we go past there, we, he has some cushions there as well. And you go into another room just after these uh, recorded pieces here. There's a bit of shoes over there as well. We've picked up shoes from here in the past. So this is not our first visit to here. I've already done a short from there from my previous visit. Children's books, a toy section. If you're looking for vintage pieces, here this is a good possibility. Children's shoes and the recorded LPs. Some more cushions here, pillows if you wish. The book section. Fairly good selection of books. 
and some recorded media on the end. And opposite the books, you've got the section with household goods, hardware. Um, this one's got a bunch of wires and electronics. But at the end, you see there's uh, gift bags. some sort of uh, chrome coating the other one has a better finish of the chrome not saying they won't corrode they will sometimes they have been, they were originally painted or enameled and with time they wear same as with this one this one's just slightly better condition So, makes for an interesting collection of items here. It's like a panini press. Those other, all sorts of various interesting pieces. Never know what they are until you take a closer look. Various pots and pans and coffee makers, they're very common. Somebody upgrades theirs, they give the old one away. And then they had lampshades on the very top. Uh, fabrics whether it was uh, linens or it's just fabric or towels uh, some notions for sewing and here's the glass glass and some ceramics these are more on the contemporary end of it the, the wall of mugs and then you have the flat like dishes and dish sets. A few of the bowls in glass. So, some of them are a bit older than others, but not nothing really old. Glassware over there. They're just drinking vessels. Some people call them beakers. I just call them glasses. There's some shot glasses as well. 
as a graduated measure. Some of the shot classes are residential. The ones with the markings were, some of them were capable of being used in, in uh, licensed establishments. That way you could see that you got the legally required amount that you'd paid for. And after we left there, we dropped into this little place a couple of doors over. What's the scoop? This is all you get. They have uh, a really nice selection of ice creams and a few other things that, like uh, sundaes and so on. But all you do is you stand on the street, you order, they get it together for you, and you get to sit on this side of the road, side of the street, on a bench. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you appreciated this and enjoyed it as well. I'd appreciate if you gave us a thumbs up or a like. Um, and if you choose to mark the bell, you'll get notified of the next uh, one as it gets posted. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.